Accessories and practice aids are a huge part of the game, and there's loads to choose from. This buying guide will give you a bit of an overview of what's available. One of the first things you'd normally reach for on a hole is a tee, like these. They're more durable and sustainable now. They're made of bamboo and they come in different lengths and different size packets. These days, a lot of people like to draw markings on their ball to help with identification and personalization or lines to help with alignment when putting. That's where these cool tools come in handy. It's a little plastic stencil that makes drawing a straight line on a curved ball really easy. Okay, so if you've got a bit of a gammy back or need a bit more stretching, these come in real handy. Pop it to the top of your putter when you hold every putt, stick the putter in the hole and the ball will pop out to save bending down. For those of you that actually practice your game and try to improve, alignment sticks are a great help. They can be used at home or at the range for a multitude of different things. So when you eventually get to the green, obviously always prepare your pitch mark with this handy thing. And for marking your ball, these poker chips are cool as well. So between shots, you might want to clean your clubs where a club brush comes in real handy. And after your round, keep your shoes looking nice and tidy. A shoe brush is great as well. Some of the most popular at home practice devices are putting cups, like this one, very standard, really good to use, or this one, which is great because it will automatically return the ball back to you. Putting mirrors are also great at home practice devices as they really help you groove the alignment of your stroke. One of my favorite at home practice devices is this, the Tech Putting Mat. It's about 12 foot long, comes with a putting cup as well, and is the most grass-like surface I've ever putted on. Another really popular item we've got at the moment is the GWX Striker Mats. They're great at showing you where you'd make impact and the path of your stroke. Another really popular at home practice device for the backyard is the chipping nets. But if you're feeling confident and want to do it inside, maybe up your insurance. And if you really want to practice inside, maybe it's raining, but you don't want your insurance to go up, use these soft golf balls instead. So there you go, a bit of an overview of some of the practice aids and accessories we've got here at Golf Warehouse, but there are heaps more as well. We've got another video coming up soon explaining how to use most of the ones we looked at and some others as well. But in the meantime, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and also check out our awesome content over here. We'll see you soon.